Thanks for that information, Dr. McGeorge. All right, right now, employers are clamoring for help, but inflation continues to take a bite out of our spending power. Higher interest rates are slowing our economy down, and in some industries, we're seeing layoffs. Local 4 business editor and certified financial planner Rod Maloney is here tonight to talk about how to prepare yourself for what you might not think could happen to you, job insecurity. You know, it might sound strange in the current economy that you could lose your job, but it's one of those things you absolutely have to be ready for. So whether you might get fired, your job could disappear, you have a family crisis, you have to pack up and move to some other part of the country and start over, these are all possibilities. So how do you prepare? Here are some thoughts. U.S. News credit expert Beverly Harzog sums it up best. If you work for someone else, you know, you always need to have sort of a plan B in place. Planning alternative CEO and certified financial planner Nathan Mercero agrees. What if something were to happen uh, employment wise? What if something were to happen with my health? What, were, what if something were to happen in my family unit that demanded more of my time and focus? And many times the people that take the time to think through that are so much better prepared to cope and adapt when change happens. Look, economies speed up, they slow down. Sometimes the unsuspecting find themselves with no income and a mountain of expenses and debt. Keeping your resume dusted off is always the best idea. It's going to be unpredictable in the next year. So just for your own peace of mind, you know, keep in touch with your network, use LinkedIn, use whatever social media network, you know, is, is right for you in your industry and just stay in touch with people. Still on the practical level, this is what an emergency fund is really there for, says Cultivate Financial Wellness Certified Financial Planner, Julie Quick. If a layoff does seem um, imminent, maybe backing down your retirement savings. Again, try to hoard cash so that you've got a slush fund to live off of uh, for, for a period of time. And certified financial planner Rick Kaler says this is an issue many young workers may not have thought much about, but need to consider as just part of their working lives going forward. And it's something that needs to be started early in life to put enough to, to get you through that period. Um, but it, it can mean the difference of taking your time, really looking for a job that you want to do and versus being in a crisis where you've got to take the first job that comes by just to survive. Now, once again, a lot of people might not know how to be ready, depending on your stage in life, on how to prepare for job insecurity. Well, we've got a whole bunch of resources pulled together for you. You could do some quiet reading over your vacation or the holiday on click on Detroit.com. Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right. We, as always, we appreciate it, Rod.